Alright guys, welcome to this page of the notes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these piecewise defined functions. Why are they called piecewise defined functions? Well, it's this scary looking thing right here. It's not that bad. Let me go through it with you. Um, but the reason it's called a piecewise defined function is because the function requires several pieces. I have this top piece, I have this bottom piece in order to define the entire function. Several pieces to define the whole function. Uh, in this case, it requires two functions in order to get my graph. Let me slide up for you. I could give you one that requires three pieces in order to define the entire graph. Now, does this absolutely no good whatsoever to go through problems that I have already solved? So, now that you know what this piecewise function is, they look like this, f of x is equal, we use the brace to put all of our pieces together. We'll go ahead, head over to the next page, and we'll work on graphing one together. So I'll meet you over there.